Is there anything you're working on right now that you could tell you know tell us about? Uh, yes, I actually have a I have a book that's called From A to Z. It comes out on on Father's Day, and it's really just a, a a manual, man, for any producer, any DJ, any rapper that's trying to get in the game and kind of follow my footsteps. You know, being an independent guy, really doing it his own way, staying relevant, in, you know, staying relevant in, in in it over you know over ten years. How to you know how to stay in the game, man, and do it independently. I'm one of the guys that made it in the game that you know I never signed a record, signed a, uh, you know, to any companies or, or any, had any management, you know, everything I done was kind of on my own merit. So, you know, that's me teaching the, the, the guys that want to do it like me, you know, that's what the manual is for. Yeah. All right. So, so tell me the top three things that someone could do to be successful in the music industry independently. The top three things I would say is is really hustling. It's, it's it's real hard work. So it's like it's working day in day out. That's that's really one of the main things. Another thing and, is oh, oh hold on. I just I just kind of want to you know expand okay. on this because a lot of people are going to be watching this. Okay. Taking notes right now. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know because there, there's literally millions of people who are who are trying to to get where you are right now. So. When you say you got to really hustle and do hard work, realistically speaking, how many years of hard work before you're actually going to see something? Uh, it's hard to say, man. It's like the music business, the way it is now, is you, you really can't put a time frame on it. I know I started making beats maybe in 99, but I was doing it more so for fun. You know, I had my first big record in 2004. So, right. you know, that was a couple of years, but, you know, you can make it, you know, make it before then. Okay. But in your, in your case, it took five years. Yeah, it took about five years of really just... Okay. Right. So, I, you know, j just to dispel the myth that, you yeah, know, if yeah, you about five, for six yeah, months... About five years of, of just going hard, getting up, making okay. beats every day, going out to different clubs where the artists and, and, and people going to be at, pulling up at different studios, dropping off beats, building relationships with different artists. Yeah, five years. About five years of that. You, yeah, you should yep. be making some noise. I think uh, that's pretty much what I've seen too. I, I would agree with that from my point of view. Yeah. Um, okay. Number two. Uh, I would say being your own individual. I think we're living in a time where you know everybody else want to either be somebody else or mimic somebody else or do what somebody else is doing and the way they you know or try to sound like somebody else that you can get you know kind of get swept under the rug doing that, I think individuality is, is a big part of, of being successful in uh, the music game now. What do you think, in your particular case, give me an example of you being, in, you being successful because you're individual, you know, because you're, you, know, you, you followed an individual path? I would say, um, I would say let's say Gucci Man for, for example, he was a guy that, you know, I, that's, I, I basically started my career with. And the, the, the type of music that I was giving him and, and the way that he was rapping on it, there was probably nobody around that liked, in, liked any of it. Everybody like, that ain't it, that's whack. Gucci can't rap uh, your beats. They sound like you got too much piano in it, man. We don't know if we should be singing on it or what. You know, I put a lot of organs and pianos and stuff in my in my music, and it it came from me being in church all the time. But I I use that to you know be unique, like make my you know be an individual. Like for me to stand out, I said, well, you know, I played the organ at church. Let me use the stuff I do at church and put it on top of the you know the drums that I'm I'm making. So I think that was you know me being creative and being me being unique to make me stand out. And those are the things that we don't have a lot of people doing now because now you hear everybody else beats and they doing, you know, the organ thing or the piano thing, like, you know, the way I use it. So I know for me, that's what helped me, that would help me be successful. Okay. Number three. Number three is, let me see, let me pick which one is more. Uh, I would say for me, and I don't, you know, I don't want to come off too spiritual, but I feel like 
uh, you know, letting letting God really be in control of your destiny. And when I say that, I mean, you know, I'm a I'm a spiritual person, so I I spend a lot of time, you know, praying. I spend time, you know, going to church, and and I believe the favor of God is one of the reasons I'm, you know, where I'm at, you know, being successful. It's like, you know, it's out of my hands. I'm going to do all the work, do all the hard work that I need to do. I'm going to try to be unique. But then again, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, you know, pray a lot. I'm going to be spiritual, too, because that's if you know, it don't matter how good you are or how great your gift is. If God don't put you in a, in a uh, situation or, or make you successful, then you won't be successful. There's so many guys I know that's like that probably better than I am but probably won't never make it. And then it might, and I, I feel it's due to, you know, the favor of God or, or God putting somebody in a position. Let me also mention, you know, I don't know if you didn't see my movies. I didn't, I, I didn't you know, turn into a, a lightweight uh, movie star. I have a movie out right now, it's called Birds of a Feather, that's on uh, Netflix. And it's probably made me more famous than the music ha has made me, really. So that was my first movie. It's out. It's doing real good on Netflix. I just put out my second movie uh, called Finesse. Um, we just released it on Christmas. And, you know, it'll be probably hitting Netflix maybe in about a month or so. But that's been another uh, big part of me being successful is venturing out, you know, trying other things. Gucci Man's in it. Yeah, Gucci Man's in it. Yep, Gucci Man's in my first. Gucci Man, Rocco, and Scooter, and... Everybody in Atlanta's in my first one. And matter of fact, they all in my second one too. I got Trinidad James, Migos, DJ Scream, OJ the Juice Man. You know, I just use all my relationships to try to, you know, put these guys in movies, you know, and just trying to make a way, just trying to create something. And it's been doing real well for me. And if they want to do they do, let them do the do. They the ones got to ride it out, cuz. Okay? Don't throw them under the bus. At least they ain't out hurting nobody. Black people, we have okayed everything down to a point where our culture is gone. Black folks, for the most, for the most part, don't have nothing to say about hip-hop or R&B. It has been taken away from us.